Look at him. What I tell y'all? Look at him. What's he doing? Look at him. Man, I gotta look up the stats. Before we even get into the game, because I watched the game, but I don't even... Wow, he has 36. Oh my God. I was just about to come in here and start hitting no, on Tatum, and he has 36. <laughs> well, the six, it's going to be the Sixers and the Lakers in the finals. Let me just start off by saying that. Sixers, Lakers in the finals. You can book it. You can bet it. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's coming to you live. You heard it here first. Sixers, Lakers, finals. Um, I cannot believe that the Celtics choked at home. Al Horford, zero points. <laughs> no one else on their team scored any buckets. I mean, it was a bad performance out of them. We're going to start off with that. How's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? I feel pretty good. I'm ready for the Lakers game. I'm ready to close y'all out. I'm ready to get it over with. You see, I got my Laker jersey right here. Look. But yeah, I was about to come in here and start hating on Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum, I mean, either way, Jason Tatum, you're going home. This is why I didn't root for him, because I knew he was going to do this. After watching him, after rooting for him last year and watching him just choke like that, I just knew what time it was with him. I knew what type of time he was on. You know what I'm saying? I knew what type of time Jason Tatum was on. I did. I did not see this one coming, though. God damn. I don't know about the Sixers becoming the favorites, though, to win it, though. As soon as they won this game, the Sixers immediately became the favorite to win the finals. I don't know about that. I mean, I think LeBron beats this Sixers team pretty easily. <laughs> I think we work this Sixers team. LeBron gets his fifth ring, and he becomes better than Jordan. <laughs> Put the hell. Look, I can see that happening. I think the Warriors are honestly damn near harder than the Sixers for us. Like, I... Warriors are tougher than the Sixers. I think we make quick work out of the Sixers. Respectfully, of course. I mean, I I, I, I know Joe and B was doing his thing. He was getting all his blocks, rim protector, blah, blah, blah. I get all of that. Yeah, nah, but respectfully, Lakers would smash the Sixers. Respectfully, though. Respectfully, we would absolutely destroy y'all. <laughs> no offense, but we would destroy y'all. <laughs> no offense, but you suck. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maxi 30 points. Turn up, Maxi. Turn up, Maxi. They got their little ass spanked. Spanking. The boy was quiet as hell in there. <laughs> it was gloomy as hell in there. Boy, Joe MB had it. Mute as hell in there. Boy, niggas forgot how to speak in there, boy. But. Maxi was stupid. I don't know why the crowd go crazy. I'm not getting back in this. They thought they was getting back in it. <laughs> Sixers did a good job of not letting them get back in nothing. They was on their ass. This game felt like more of a blowout than Phoenix and Denver, which is what we're going to get into next. This game felt like they was pretty much, from the, from the third quarter on, it pretty much felt like I mean, there was there was a few moments when the Celtics might have for a second, but like, shit was capped. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. He's a he's a rim protector, great blocker, five blocks a game. I get all of that. Respectfully, we'd still smash y'all. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, I don't give a. F <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, get them little niggas out of there. Sent them little niggas home tough. Jalen Brown, you gotta get out of there. They don't have enough. Subjects don't have enough. They thought Tatum and Brown was enough. Not enough. That's not enough. Best defensive team in the league, damn near. Tough. Tough, Celtics. Tough. Can't believe y'all went out like this. Thought for sure y'all would have If I, I mean, I didn't bat, but if I would have, I would have bat on y'all that game. For y'all to go out like that, that's a spooker. Wow, Joe and Bede. I didn't even I didn't even realize the Sixers were really like that. Okay, I like y'all. I like y'all. Y'all looking hot. I mean, I, I, I would love to play the Sixers in the finals. That sounds lit. You know what I'm saying? The Sixers are just good enough for the haters to respect LeBron when he smashes them. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was the Heat, then they'd be there. <laughs> Anyways, 
let me take a look at the uh yeah. I turned this angle out. This game came on late. I turned this thing off on third quarter, man. I had shit to do, you know what I mean? Um they were pretty it was pretty much over by the third quarter though. Devin Booker had twenty eight, but I mean he started off kind of fast and then sort of slowed down a little bit. A Kogi is ass. Cameron Payne is ass. Yeah, they don't have any bench. They don't have any bench. They basically have the same thing as the Celtics going on over here. Yeah, those three guys is, is not enough. You can't, you're not going to win. MPJ had a crazy first quarter, 14 points, going stupid. And then finished with 19. That's brutal. <laughs> but yeah, Jokic, I mean, Bruce Brown, like, right? 25 points, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, they got, yeah, it's tough. They got some guys, man. They got some guys. I think we'll beat them, though. I think we'll beat them. Respectfully, I think we'll beat them. I think we beat the Nuggets six games. I think we beat the Nuggets six games. Let's just hurry up and get these sons out of here. Look at Jokic trying to be the bigger man. I like that. They were like, boy, you better go. You better go shake that man's hand. That boy paid $4 billion for that son. See, you better go shake that boy hand before he exile you. To <laughs> $4 billion is crazy. That nigga dropped a baggy, baggy, a big baggy. Boy, I would have been holding on to the ball, too. I wouldn't have wanted to get a ball up, neither. Boy, I feel him. If I just paid $4 billion for the team two, three months ago, boy, I wouldn't have gave that ball up, neither. Boy, that's my ball. I'm richer than everybody in there. I buy everybody in there. What's wrong with y'all? I would buy every... Boy, I got more money than everybody in here combined. Add everybody in here money up, and I'm worth more than all y'all. <laughs> I'd be in that bitch acting different. <laughs> I damn near would've pushed Jokic. I damn near would've, what? I would've bought the team for four billion dollars. I damn near would've pushed Jokic down. Boy, like, boy, what? <laughs> I damn near would've lost the team. <laughs> I'm joking. Hell no. Nah, for real though. That's a lot of money to be paying, man. That boy got a bag. That boy's got a bag. Y'all better not fuck with Matt. Don't fuck. Y'all better. Y'all better respect Matt. <laughs> and we're not playing with y'all, boy. He's not playing with y'all. Yeah, Booker really do be looking like Kobe, though. I ain't gonna lie. He must go back and watch all the highlights, all the tape. I feel like he be stealing Kobe moves. That's good cap, though. That's what Kobe used to do to Jordan. That's good cap. Murray and Sherman had a little... <laughs> they had a little thing going on. <laughs> and then he started talking shit. They got the tech. I remember that. <laughs> Booker, you, I mean, uh, Murray, you too good to be beefing with Sherman. I never beef with a nigga like, she, come on, boy. Sherman, big head ass. <laughs> hey, way too late to be beefing with Sherman. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, by this point, it was over. By this point, I stopped watching. Nuggets working quickly. Jokic again. Then Bruce Brown, who... Knows KD well. They spent the last two years together, and then the. <laughs> I like it, KD. That nigga mad. <laughs> Fuck Chris Paul and <laughs> what the hell could Chris Paul possibly be in the huddle saying? Boy, they better without you than with you. What the hell could you possibly be telling them, Chris Paul? Get your dumb ass. Get them to end over there like yeah, 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 Chris. Yeah, take that shit, Chris. <laughs> Get y'all dumb ass, boy. Chris Paul, you average 10 points all time in the playoffs. Boy, you are trash. You are absolute. How many times you been in the playoffs, boy? Yo, come on, boy. Don't make me get on that with you. I'm trying to leave you alone. <laughs> but I won't get on that. <laughs> that nigga Chris Paul trying to hype some shit up. Come on, boy. Most over overpaid nigga in the league. <laughs> Jokic again. Chris Paul's hilarious. Then Bruce Brown, who knows KD well. They spent the last two years together. And then the push. 
He shouldn't have got attacked for that. Because Landale just gave him a little soft push, and the ref didn't tell the nigga to move. So KD gave him a harder one, boy. Shouldn't have got attacked for that. Okay. I like it, though. Let's get negative. Chris Paul in there like, let's go, boys. Y'all know how we get. Y'all know how I act. Stupid ass, boy. Get your weak ass. That, that talk did not work. Talk didn't work. Yeah, talk didn't help. You better not even think about it. <laughs> KD seen that post on my story. <laughs> that bitch went viral. I damn near got 100K views for that post on my story. Y'all know KD followed me. He seen, he had flashes of that MPJ yoke. He knew not to do it, boy. <laughs> you better not, old man. <laughs> These young TikTok niggas looking to expose your old ass. <laughs> that nigga came through like, boy, KD, I wish you. What? <laughs> he moved that like, boy, KD wasn't even thinking of, boy, he seen KD wasn't even thinking, boy, what? He, he looking at that nigga at half court like, come on, boy, we know about your old ass. My man just boomed you a few days ago. You thought we didn't. You thought we forgot? Boy, nigga, I wish you would. I wish you would. And PJ was right there like, you know what? <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all know what time it is? Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm supposed to be watching one more game. God damn, I did so much goddamn pausing. All right, well, let's do this real quick. Also, <laughs> I did so much pause. I forgot I was supposed to do one more. <laughs> hey, that was funny though. That was funny. You ain't gonna find commentary like this nowhere else. I promise you that. I promise you that. Anyways, Knicks are done. Knicks, what happened? Where my Knicks jersey at? Knicks. 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 We here. We here. Randall, we go on. <laughs> we out of here. Out of bio, asking for it. Come on, Gets man. The step. Puts it down, but I'm just trying to find the open. But yeah, Nick, I ain't gonna lie. I thought y'all, y'all lost to the Heat. Y'all really let the Heat. The Heat about to beat y'all tonight. He go win. This is gonna be over. I don't see the Knicks winning. Nick, you're done. You're done for. Brunson was not enough. He was enough to make y'all a little bit more competitive, you know, make it a little bit more exciting in New York, you know, so we'll give him credit for that, but that's about all he's good for. You know what I'm saying? It's done, Nick. You're done. You're done. It's a wrap. Nobody's open. It's a wrap. I know I don't watch these games because they come on at the same time as the Lakers, and I really don't give that much of an F about this series. But since we watching all the other games, I figured I'd do it. I'm in a good mood. I'm here for y'all. I got y'all, gang. But it's, but it's, but it's over with. Got 12. I can't believe y'all lost to J Who do they even have? They, they out-hustled y'all the entire game. All the offensive rebounds, the steals, the hustle plays. They just out-hustled y'all. They don't, I don't even think they have the better team. They're just more experienced and they just, they just grown man y'all are niggas. I don't know what else. They grown man y'all. That's funny though. Them niggas is really trying to expose KD under the rim. <laughs> they really try to boom boom room KD, boy. That shit is critical. <laughs> shit is spooky for KD out here. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh yeah, those those always hurt. See him walking gingerly right there. Did he do that on purpose? Wait, hold on. I got to see that shit one more time. Hold on. I ain't, I ain't like how he moved his foot away. Let me see. Came down on, I think, Martin's. Man, that nigga did that shit on purpose, bro. What? Did y'all just see that? Foot right there. His left ankle. That was dirty as hell. See him walking gingerly right there. Hey, what is he on? He might stepping out of bounds. So the next Wait, what the fuck is bro on? Did y'all just see that? Made a shot here in the fourth. Miami is one out of nine. Butler gets inside. Could fight through that Martin screen. Butler, kick, Martin, drive, and slam! Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. If that was back in the day, bro was supposed to meet that nigga. Never mind. I don't advocate for <laughs> whatever. 2023, you know. Positivity. <laughs>
drives in. Contact. That's crazy, though. That was some dirty ass. I never liked Martin because I never even knew who he was. I mean, he's a random ass nigga, but now I like I like him even less somehow, which I never even liked him. So how can I like him less? I don't know, but somehow I do. Uses it. Back for I guess before I, I didn't care to like him or dislike him. Now I just don't like him. That was that was wild to do that to Brunson like that. That was wild. That was wild. I don't know what the streets are saying about that. I ain't even looked into it, but to me, that was wild. Anyways, that's going to do it. We're going to do a new video on uh, our Patreon. I appreciate all y'all fucking with me over there. Y'all went crazy yesterday. We about to do first take probably tomorrow after the Laker game. But I got this new series called Clark's Likes, where we take a look at my likes on Instagram and TikTok and shit. It's fucking lit. But anyways, so we're going to go do that over there. Um, and I got a story time coming over there soon. I'm just waiting on something before i can you know what i mean but anyways we got some shit coming over there go join the gang over there young boy comes out tomorrow young boy and little dirt comes out tomorrow what are we doing oh my lord this is nuts this is nuts <laughs> anyways that's gonna do it for me i hope y'all enjoyed this video lakers are gonna win um tonight and we're gonna uh, and we're gonna close it out we might let him get one little game bring lebron out early third quarter let him rest you know what i'm saying and get ready for the you know what i mean who knows either way it's a wrap Niggas thought LeBron was choking. Boy, y'all got LeBron twisted. Boy, it's raps. It's raps. Boy, pick out your last one, two, three, one, two pairs. You better pick out your last. I don't know why I said three. Why you better pick out your last one, two pairs, boy. One, two. One, two. Max. Anyways, I'm out. <laughs> Shout out, y'all. Kick gave me $150 million or something like that. And I just, you know, I just said, fuck it, I'm out. Damn, why couldn't I have came out a few years? <laughs> I feel like uh, Charles Barkley. You know how Charles Barkley be hating on the young niggas because they make so much more money? I'm like, damn, why couldn't I just came out? <laughs> I'm dead. Nah, he's racked though. That's lit.